Skirting the seemingly impenetrable walls of his past, former President Jacob Zuma has once again risen in the political landscape. In a chronological series of unexpected events that has left the nation buzzing with anticipation and speculation, Zuma has defied the odds and managed to challenge the Electoral Commission of South Africa's contentious decision to bar him from participating in the forthcoming general elections. It was an unprecedented move, one that has reaffirmed his unyielding determination and resilience in the face of adversity. The Commission's decision to exclude him from the elections had primarily hinged on the prison sentence he received for contempt of court. It was a severe allegation, one that could have scuttled the political aspirations of a lesser man. However, it seems the scales of justice have surprisingly tipped in favor of Zuma, who has a history of walking the tightrope of legal complications. In a momentous ruling that has sent shockwaves across the country, the Electoral Court dismissed the IEC's argument, creating a clear path for Zuma to rejoin the electoral race. This decision has profoundly affected the political landscape, injecting a renewed sense of intrigue and uncertainty into an already tense and competitive environment. Zuma's reinstatement on the final candidate list has sparked a range of reactions from across the nation. The public sentiment swings wildly from shock to jubilation and from skepticism to anticipation. It's a divisive issue, leaving observers and analysts alike grappling with the implications of this unexpected development. His return to the electoral fray has not only upset the established order, but has also challenged the very fabric of the political establishment. Zuma's name now prominently tops the Umkanto Wisizwe party candidate list for a coveted parliamentary seat. However, the significance of this development transcends party boundaries. It's not just about one man's political comeback or one party's prospects in the elections. Rather, it serves as a testament to the unpredictable and mercurial nature of politics, where the winds of change can shift directions at any moment. This development resonates beyond the party lines. It's a testament to the unpredictable nature of politics where the winds of change can shift directions at any given moment. But the road ahead isn't without its share of hurdles. This is a journey made up of both triumphs and trials, punctuated with victories and vexations. As we trudge through this labyrinth of legalities a beacon of hope emerges from the fog. Freedom Under Law, a legal advocacy group known for its unwavering commitment to justice, is now stepping into the arena. With a track record of setting precedents, they are known tenacious pursuit of the truth. Their relentless efforts in championing the cause of justice have earned them a respectable place among the legal community. In a world where the scales of justice can sometimes seem tipped, freedom under law has continuously managed to restore balance. Now, they are tirelessly seeking reasons that led to the court's decision. Their quest for truth is not just a mere investigation, it is an expedition into the heart of the legal system. Each detail scrutinized under their watchful eyes could potentially signal a new revelation, a discovery that may ultimately change the course of events. Their initiative could potentially shed light on hidden aspects, revealing the layers that often remain camouflaged under legal jargon. With each piece of evidence they uncover, every statement they dissect, they are stirring the stagnant waters of this legal quagmire. Each step brings us closer to a new chapter, a continuation of this poignant saga that is currently unfolding. In a world where every detail matters, this move by freedom under law could potentially unveil a new chapter in this unfolding drama. It is a profound reminder that the road to justice may be long and winding but every step taken brings us closer to the truth. So we watch with bated breath as this new chapter begins to unfold. To sum up, Zuma's return to the political battlefield is more than just a comeback. It's a reflection of a man who has been a part of South Africa's political landscape for a significant amount of time. A man known for his resilience, charisma and unwavering determination, characteristics that perhaps explain his profound influence in the political arena. His return is not merely a revival, it is an event that underlines the fluid nature of political power, a that isn't only wielded by those currently in the office but also by those who carry the weight of past leadership. It's a testament to the game of chess that politics often is, with its players constantly moving, strategizing and repositioning. Moreover, Zuma's return signifies a potential shift in the political spectrum, one that could perhaps alter the balance among those who hold power in the nation's government. His presence may bring about a change in the political climate, stirring currents within the sea of politics that ripple across the entire spectrum. His return to the battlefield is more than just an individual's fight against adversity. 
It's an example of how one navigates the intricate labyrinth of legal battles, judgment of criticisms and allegations, yet continues to hold sway in the politics of their nation. It's a narrative of resilience, of endurance, hinting at a continuous struggle in the face of adversity. His return signifies the ever-changing dynamics of political power, the ebb and flow of control within a nation's A testament to the continuous evolution, the ceaseless change, and the relentless drive that characterizes politics in any era. It's a statement about resilience in the face of adversity, about navigating the intricate labyrinth of legal battles, and about the ever-changing dynamics of political power. The upcoming general elections will undoubtedly be a stage where strategies are tested, alliances are formed, and political prowess is put on full display. It is an elaborate stage where not only the political minds but also the citizenry eagerly wait to witness the unfolding of the future of their nation. It is a platform wherein the heartbeat of democracy pulsates to the rhythm of the ballot box. The politicians will strategize their campaigns employing every means possible, from door-to-door -door campaigns to digital media advertisements. They will form alliances, often with former rivals and competitors, in a striking demonstration of the fluidity of politics. The power play will be in full force, as they showcase their political acumen, their ability to win hearts and minds, and their knack for turning situations to their favor. This political spectacle, like a well-scripted drama, escalates in intensity with each passing day. The citizens, the media, and the watch with bated breath as the political landscape shifts dramatically. Each day brings a new revelation, a new strategy, a new alliance, making the spectacle more thrilling and unpredictable. However, despite all the drama and anticipation, the citizens understand that the political landscape is ever-changing. They know that even with the most intricate and the strongest alliances, the outcome of the election is as unpredictable as the weather. And this unpredictability adds an element of surprise and intrigue to the whole process. Indeed, it is an exciting time to witness the power of democracy at work. As we watch this spectacle unfold, one thing is certain. In the world of politics, the final act is always a surprise.